All right, what about Jalen Hurts? I know you keep an eye on the Philadelphia Monster. scene. What do you think about Jalen Hurts? Monster. Monster. You think so? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There a lot, yeah, a lot of people have reservations about Jalen Hurts in Philadelphia. What I tell you about Philly, bro? They, they, they oh, yeah. always want the, the next guy to go to. You go, you know, for what's his name? Mar- uh, uh, Mission? Minshew, yeah. yeah. Minshew, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, you got I me. Mean, Mission is a good player, but, you know, Jalen, Jalen, Jalen is Jalen's team. Mm-hmm. Got to roll with him. Um, you know, Vinny, of course, uh, Derek, played for the Eagles from 2012 through 17 and then came back yep. again for the 19 and 20 seasons. He was a second round pick out of Marshall University. Uh, and I think we do have Vinny back up and ready to ready to roll. Mm. Vinny, welcome to the show, man. How you making out? Woo! Yo, I'm, doing pre- <laughs> I'm doing good, man. Thank you guys for having me. Sorry about that. I was Vin, I, I got to get used to that Jets green hoodie, man. It's, it's kind of oh, weird man. on the eyes. I got to tell you. Hey, hey, listen, everybody says that. Everybody says that. No matter where I go, you know, I'm just getting out of a workout right now, but no matter where I go, everybody says, man, I got to get so used to you with this Jet stuff on, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah. that, the beard is legit, man. That's, that's strong. The right? beard is legit. My, yeah, I'm, that's strong. I'm, I'm, I'm challenging my, my inner JP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right. It's got a little JP. You're right. Uh, yeah. yeah. You, know, you got to send him a picture, man. Send him a selfie. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming for you, JP. Yeah, I sent it to him. I sent it to him. I sent it to him. He told me I got a long way to go. That was funny. I, I got it, I, Vinny. I got to ask you. Derek brought this up earlier. We were, we were talking about you and, and your your time here. Is this true? Do you still want to be a professional wrestler when football's done? Is that still in the equation? Hell uh, yeah! I need to get a hell in the cell match going on. <laughs> you know See? what I mean? Come on! I'm trying to come off the. I'm trying to come off the damn steel cage. With steel cage. Drive. Yes. Yeah. I don't see you jumping off the top of a steel cage, man. I, d- I just can't visualize this, dude. Nah, anybody who know me know I'm a daredevil, man. It is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. Hey, Jim Swish used to say, Jim, Jim Swish used to say, you need to find a group of individuals that ain't scared of running dark places. And I, I'm, I'm, anybody <laughs> tell you, I'm front line with that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, last time I talked to you, you still hadn't come up with a wrestling name yet. Have you come up with one yet? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, uh. Yeah, you know, I'm 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 uh, still a little bit of uh, <laughs> a Ric Flair's gimmick, man. Come um, on, man. Come on. Look, look. Um, v- are Vinny you gonna... Flair? Vinny Flair? Curry Vinny Flair, Flair? Is that it? Uh, Nature Boy Fleet. Ah. Nature Boy Fleet. Now, you're going to be a good guy or a bad guy as a wrestler? A bad guy. What you yes. mean? Uh, listen, listen. Hey, come on, man. I, I've been in Philly damn near my whole career. You know what time it is. <laughs> You're too we nice to be a, a bad guy. No, be a be a heel, man. Be a heel, yeah, Vinny. Yeah, bro. Shit, it's a, it, you got to flick that switch. It's more fun. It's more I fun being the bad I, guy. Look, I just can't now visualize Vinny as a bad guy. Even if he tried to be a vet bad guy, he's too nice of a guy to be a bad guy. Listen, man, you got to be able to uh, flick that switch. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm nice because I'm, I'm a corporate guy, too. You know what I mean? But I also know. <laughs> <laughs> but when that switch go on, it, it's go time. I yeah. ain't nothing to choke somebody out. <laughs> choke somebody out. I, lo- I love hearing you say choke somebody out. And meanwhile, it, we can see in the back seat, you got like the car seat with the with the Disney. Yeah, yeah. How, yeah. how funny is that, man? That's, that's yeah, awesome. That's ba- baby girl car seat. Um, I had it with me. I had it with me uh, this morning, you know, or early, early this morning before the workout, taking the gymnastics, a lot of shower up and go, go on, uh, going to school. So that's great. Been good. Man. What's yeah. it like being? What's it like being a pop up now? What's it like? Oh, lo- oh shoot, ain't nothing like it. Uh, I'm not sure how uh, how you guys follow me on social media, but uh, yeah. so you know, what ha- everything that happened to me last year, you know, what I mean, I um, I had an opportunity to start uh, coaching a uh, low league, so I coached the little flag team uh, this spring, and we won the we won the Super Bowl. <laughs> so, uh, shout out to my little my, my little flag team, man. Yeah, it was fun. That's awesome. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Job, dude. Well, Vin, let, let's let's dive into this because I'm not sure everybody knows the story. Uh, and there were some right. really good pieces written. One of them yeah. I, I read by Dave Zingaro of NBC Sports Philadelphia about everything you went through, man. And so just kind of walk us through this thing because you had it was a rare blood disorder to the point where you had to have your spleen removed and there was complications with blood clots. Like, Tell us what happened, man. Oh, man. So obviously I was born – born with the disorder but i didn't know that my <clears throat> spleen was as bad as 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 swollen as it was and um 
you know, it could have been a risk of, you know, one hit, that thing could burst at any in the moment. And what? I, it's, yeah, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Like, I didn't know. I wasn't in, I wasn't in pain or nothing, you know. So hmm. I had it removed, and um, I was making my way back to recovery, man. And I, I didn't <laughs> – be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't take the – I don't think I, I took the blood thinner the proper way, and uh, that's what cost the clock. Okay. Now, so would, would, it, if this hadn't been caught, then would, would you, could you have maybe, you know, if you got hit wrong on the football field, could that, that have ended things? I mean, was it that bad? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was that bad. Um, I actually was, uh, it was swollen, but you know, I just thought, you know, I was like, damn, I not, I was like, I don't, <laughs> I'm working out hard as hell. I'm like, damn, where's his gut coming from, man? Like, oh. but, uh, that, yeah, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was actually swollen, man. It was, you know, your spleen supposed to be eight centimeters, man, and mine was, I think, 38 or something crazy like that. It 38? Was like, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. Shit, shit was about to burst at any moment. It could have burst by itself or something like that. Or you could run up, you know, you know how you uh, be wrestling with one of the guys or just, just horse playing. It could have yeah. just erupted like that or me picking up one of my kids wrong. Shit was scary, man. It was a scary Jeez. time. But, you know, to overcome that and uh, perseverance and, you know, just to be back healthy, uh, you know, to keep keep going. So, Hmm. Good. So, so you said you were born with this, right? Yeah. yeah. So you go through high school, college, and yeah. most of your pro career with yeah. this. Yeah. And, it, dude, I mean, I, I don't mean to make light of this. I mean, you look at it now, you smile. Thank God you're healthy. But, dude, this could have been devastating at any point of your career as a football player. Right. But you know, the, you know, the, you know, like, like. Taking it on from the, from like uh, the eagle standpoint, the Eagles, everybody already knew, but the spleen just wasn't swollen, you know. So yeah, I, I, well, that's the part that was hard to follow. Like, where did it be, become out of control like that? At so, you know. But, but I'm back healthy. I'm back. I'm, I'm back. I'm back on the skateboard, kicking and pushing, doing my thing, smiling, <sighs> running around. Dude. So, is there is there any restrictions right now? Or are you good to go? No, nah, I'm good to go. I'm, I'm back 100. Okay. So okay. so what so what's it like? And I have no idea. What's it right. like functioning without a spleen? Yeah, oh, man. I I will say. I will say. Uh, I guess. You know, anybody who know me know I'm a hyper person. I will say yeah. I'm more hyper. I'm even more hyper now. More you know hyper. I mean? Yeah, because you know your platelets, but my all my like where your blood flows and your platelets. Yeah. If you, um. You know, if you ever see a Vinnie Curry nosebleed, it was it was the blood was so thick. I you know always been thick like that my whole life. You know what I mean? But um, the platelets were just were going to the spleen, and that was causing the spleen to be swollen. Yeah, oh, so it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Oh man, oh man. All right, well let's look at it now, then, because you're you know I, I, obviously you've been in the league for a while here. How are how are things looking for this year with you with with the Jets? How's uh, how's what's the forecast, the outlook for this season? Oh, it's looking good, man. Um, yeah. It's looking good. You know, uh, I'm really enjoying my time there. Um, the teammates have been uh, supportive. You know, like I said before in one of my interviews, it was crazy because when I had the spleen surgery, you know, the, um, I had so many phone calls, you know, former teammates, people I played with in Philly, uh, you know, Jet teammates, everybody. Everybody was just calling and sending their prayers and love. And um, it really touched me because it, it goes to show you that, you know what type of teammate and what type of guy and brother I am to to you know to that to that family. So mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. That's so awesome. so when you went through all of this, Vinny, and after you came out of the surgery, because initially it was thought that you might be ready to play by that September of last year, and yeah, then all of a sudden yeah. the blood the blood clots developed, and all of a sudden they said, "That's it, you're done for the year." Was right. there ever a point? Was there ever a point you contemplated about walking away from the game altogether? And if so, what made you decide? to give it another shot. I mean, you'll be 34 later this month. What does, what made you decide to give it another shot? Well, I can't, I couldn't go out like that. No, you know, you, you got, you know, I'm too competitive, bro. You know, this thing, you, you know, that from the beginning of for my Yeah, but you had your ring, like you had your ring, now, made your money. Uh, I'm too competitive, bro. I, I, I like me personally, in my mind, I, I still feel like it's, it's more for me out there to do, you know what I'm saying? And as far as like, on the field, you know what I mean? And even though that my spleen is swollen, like, I had one of the, the craziest, best OTAs of my career up to that point. It was insane right, right. on what was going on. 
Um, so I just think the will and drive just you know, wanted me to, to come back and just see see what happens. And and I you know I, I got nothing but love for this game and what this game has done for me, you know, mentally, physically, and financially is I felt like I owed it to the game to 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 do it one more time. That's cool, Ben. So I, I mentioned you had the two stints with the Eagles, drafted here in the second round in 12. You go from 12 to 17, come back 19 and 20. I got to ask you about the, the Super Bowl season, man. And just right. you, you knew you grew up in Neptune, New Jersey. You know what it means to this city. You know how long it had been for this city, man. What was it like to be a part of that? Oh, it was amazing, man. I mean, it's going to be talked about forever, you know. And you just think about this, you know, uh, the Philly fan base, let's talk about them for a second. I don't think up until that point, no one has deserved a championship from a football team than the Philadelphia fan base. So mm. to deliver it and be part of that, it's going to be talked about forever. You know, um, from here on out, just, just think about this. Me growing up in Jersey and growing up an Eagle fan, what was always talked about was the McNabb teams. Yeah. You know, yep. um, I see. I, I ain't gonna say no name. I see somebody said a little thing. Well, they team match up against our team. You know, yeah, they won a lot and they went to the NFC Championships a lot. But it's all you know. It was cute until you know. What I mean, that Lombardi is something different. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't it? Ain't nothing like like it. And then that season was just so magical and so like surreal. It was crazy. And that that season is going to be compared to. Any and every Eagle team from from mm-hmm. from that point forward, you know, um, and as it should be, you know, what I'm saying like, listen, this is a gladiator sport, and you know, and you got to be competitive at the at the same time, you know, that feeling everybody wants to feel that feeling again, you know, that's what I, I even preaching the Jets locker room, like, bro, I'm telling y'all, like, there's nothing like it, you know, um, so that 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 season was just uh, remarkable and. Everybody wants to feel that feeling again, you know what I mean? So yeah, no, that's awesome, man. That, well, I, you, so, you overcame so much injury yeah. wise. I mean, yeah, you talk about JP. You talk about obviously uh, Carson, Scrolls, Scrolls, Carson. Uh, yeah. you, you lost Jordan Hicks. You, you know, I yeah. mean, it was unbelievable the amount of like major position players that that just were left and right. You got it didn't matter. You know what? It was one of those seasons. You know, once. You know, like once we had a great OTA that year, and then once the uh, I remember the Dolphins coming into town. I think that was the first first joint practice that we had. Yeah. Everybody just checked their ego at the door, you know, and that's one thing a person could tell you about my career. Yeah, oh, Vinny Curry don't have this amount, but I don't think. And then <laughs> yo, D Gun, I hope you got your stat thing there. I don't think a player, <laughs> I don't think a player in Eagle history ever rotated more than me. You're right because you know I was going to bring up the fact that and I never was selfish like man what the hell no, what the f- no. I never was because you know why because I know who I am as a person I know who I am as a player bro and I yep, know right. what I'm going to do whether it's 15 40 50 plays I'm going to make something shake and I always did and that mm-hmm. was just me you know what I'm saying and I think once guys understood and got on that type of role yeah Think about it, we had four running backs who rushed over I think everybody rushed over 600 yards that season something yeah, crazy you like had, that yeah. You yeah. could have had a thousand yard rusher and you keep going there, but no, everybody played their role. Think about the receivers; everybody played their role. It was it was insane. It was insane. And then we outside everybody in the Super Bowl secondary is paid right now. Think about that. Yeah, yeah. Backups too. Yeah. Backups yeah. to the backups is yeah. paid right now. Yeah. Rasul, uh, J. Mills, uh, Rodney, uh, uh, led by Jank. Yeah. Um, uh, Sidney Jones, yeah, yeah, balling. Yeah. like no matter like the whole that whole back end, Epps, Epps is killing it for the Eagles. He was yeah. there, yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like it's just it just when you sit back, you be like, damn, like that's what it was about, you know, um, yeah. competition. You know, iron sharpens iron. Like, we were so deep at each position, it was crazy that game. I, I tell you what, it was crazy about when you look at your career in particular. The first five years you were with the Eagles, you never started a game. But that year, 2017, you started every game yep. for the Eagles. Yeah. Yeah, had one of the best years you could possibly have. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And, and that was split in time. Like, yeah, and it was that split in time. You know what I mean? And I never, I never, I never, you you know me. 
like a poker face. I never let yep. it bother me. Whatever. Yep. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm yep. still going to do me. You know what I mean? And even departing, that was just kind of part of my reason of to bar, to departing. You know what I mean? But yeah. think about it. Shit. By week three, I broke my ankle in Tampa. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you were, you were back the next year. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Hey, yo, you, I, I think you just missed D gun too much, Vinny. You had to come back, man. Let me tell you, I be, I, I mean, this is God honest truth. I remember sitting with my foot up, and they hung that, they hung the flag up, bro. And I remember not being a part of it. There's no feeling like that. I felt crazy. Mm. It was like one of the most saddest times you can watch on TV. I was like, mm. yeah, this is some BS, yo. Wow. And I just looked around. I was like, it was crazy. You know what I mean? I know not going. It was my decision, you know what I mean, to yeah. to go. But it was like, damn, like, what are you doing, like? You know what I mean? So when I came back, bro, it was just, it was amazing. And then even when I came back, even Wishman and Tom still had one of the best stat seasons you could put together at that little bit of time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was crazy. It was crazy. Well, you had to get paid, man. You went to Tampa to get paid. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but you got paid. Oh, yeah, but I, I got paid in fully, too, though. I, don't, I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't wasn't more money than what the Eagles gave me, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? But... At the same time, the Tampa thing, the Tampa contract and the, the revamp equal contract was almost the same. But yeah. I wanted to see what would happen if if I didn't have to rotate so much. Right. But we all see what happened. I fucking broke my ankle. Like, no. <laughs> man. You know well, what I mean? Well, so, how, 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 like, as much as it can hurt your personal stats, I totally get that. Like, how tough is that on opposing offenses when, oh, uh -oh. did we lose Vinny? Uh oh. Uh oh. Vinny! All right, Xander, Xander, let's see if he get, I hope he's all right. He's, I don't think he was driving, Gunner. I think he was parked. But no, hopefully. he's parked. Oh, he's good. We, we, hold on, we got him back. back. So say, say it again. What you guys say? No, Vin. I was going to say Where as you much go? as it. Yeah, we're glad you're back. First of all, but ha, when um, as much as it may hurt your personal stats, and I totally get that. But how tough is it on opposing offenses when you're just throwing like fastballs constantly oh, with with, with it's, you it's, know, it's, new bodies? It's crazy. It's crazy. And then you know, like they gotta tell you, like I just, I just wanted to do my job and do it well. Yeah. Like, like one thing about Vinny Curry, if you turn my tape on, I play, I play hard, bro. Yeah, you, you're not, you're not gonna be able to turn the tape on. You uh, know, no matter who's lined up with me, next to me, against me, across, like I'm gonna pop out. Mm -hmm. And that, that's one thing I, I, I hang my hat on. So when I made a commitment to even go to the Jets, it did not happen. I still feels like I owe it to myself to to still show that I'm still me. You know what I mean? And one thing about the rotation, though, here's the thing. You got you asked this. You said, "How old would I be in a couple weeks?" Uh, you'll be 34. And let me tell you, my win ten like another person that's 34 that played a hundred plays, bro. <laughs> Cause it, let me tell you, if it was like that, my ass would be having them cleats up. <laughs> Play with some guys that was that age. They couldn't move. I said, oh, hell no. I'll never look like that. But I never said it out loud. And I ain't going to say no names. But I was like, yo. When I, start, when, I, when I start getting up there, please, somebody tell me. Like, yo, V, go ahead, play. You had to, you know what I mean? Tap me on the head like a kid, too. Yeah, hey, go ahead, play. You had a good job, man. Go, well, let me, go. let me, let me, let me, let me ask you this. And we, I hate, you know, keep bringing it up. You're going to be 34, June 30th. Okay, yeah, so yeah. you have Carl Lawson at your position coming back off the Achilles. You have John Franklin Myers, and of course they drafted Jermaine Johnson in the first round. What makes you feel good about your situation with the Jets at that position? I mean, I don't care what they get. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, but I had to ask you. Nah, just think, like, this, is, this is how I look at it. Like, bro, bro, I done been, I done been in the Lions' den Rotational wise, with the with some of the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't. Yeah. I don't. Oh my God! You got the Connor Baldwin's, Trent Coles, the Babins, the Brandon Graham, who, Chris what, Long. The, yeah, yo, Chris Long. Like, list goes on. Yeah. Like, I done been in the lines. Then, listen, this is how it's gonna go. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't really get into that, to that. You know? You know yeah. how? Yeah, listen, where I'm confident enough in myself. Uh, to to be me, you know what I'm saying, and yeah. I, don't, I don't, you know, you know, you know, come on, it's me, bro. I don't even think I got, about. I, ha I have to ask the question, man. Yeah, I just have to I, ask you. You know, I'm a teacher now. I'm a teacher. 
You're the old man in the locker room. Yeah, I'm, I'm the teacher now. I, I mean, I'm the OG. You're, Yoda. You're the Yoda of the Jets now. That's, that's who you <laughs> are. Yeah. 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 I, I got to yeah. ask you, you know, as I'm sure with you, Brandon Graham's a trip, man. We, we love talking to the guy. He was calling Gunner during the show, as a matter of fact. Right before he, just, he, came yeah, he knows I'm on live. He's calling me during the show. Give, give me a thumbnail what it's like to be around Brandon Graham on a daily basis, man. Oh, it's awesome, man. Listen, it's awesome. You know, I, I think I'm one year behind him, right, you guy? Two yep. years? One yep. year. One, one year, year behind one him. Year. One year behind him. And it's like, you know, just, you know, bro, just think about it. We come in, you coming in at 22, 21 years old, bro, and look yeah. how old we are now. That's how long we've been around each other. Like, it's crazy. It's insane. Grew up, you, you might as well say you grew up in your second life together with him. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it was, it's, it's remarkable. Uh, like, I mean, I like I, I texted him before. I said, "Yo, bro, I can't wait for you come back this year and ball out, bro." Think about it. Everybody, everybody that's been in the league longer than us, Robert Quinn, uh, Von, everybody getting, everybody getting paid again. I said, "Damn, this might be a trend." You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> this might be a trend. You know, we just got out there and do our thing. You know, so everybody want to experience one. But let me tell you about uh, BG, man. He's just he a warrior. You can't never count that dude out. He a warrior, and he might be. Arguably the strongest player I ever played with. Wow. Pound for pound, wow. strongest player. Like, that's one thing people don't understand about him. Like, wow. Husky ain't no joke. Like, that dude, he probably squats <laughs> Hus 700 pounds Husky? and bench 500 pounds for a 10 rep. Like, yeah, bro. Really? Tripping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait. And that's who they, and, and yo, D guy, that's who they used to pair me to lift weights with. I'm like, bro, y'all won't give me him. I got to lift with this dude again. <laughs> wait, you call him Husky? Is that his, is that his nickname? No, no, yeah, yeah, look, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> we look, got look. it now. <laughs> nice. Yes. All right, we got uh, a little bit. I got to yeah. ask you, I got to ask you, man, I hate to keep going back to this, but, like, what was okay. it like running out of the tunnel, Super Bowl 52, man, just that feeling of you're in the ultimate game? Oh, bro, what was that? We knew. We already knew we was going to win. Hmm. We knew we was going to win. We was that confident. We had to work that hard. And, like, one, one thing, just like I told you, like, that season was crazy, but running out the tunnel wasn't nothing like it. You want to? It, it was, I was so hyped, my nose started bleeding. What? I wanted to get a video of that. That shit was crazy. Really? I didn't even know. And Fletch go, man, wipe your nose. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they doing the coin toss, bro. But you know it's the Super Bowl, so it took like thirty minutes for just for that coin toss and the yeah. whole show. So I was good by the by the by the start of the game. That was so funny, bro. Oh, like wow. yo. But that's how I amped up we was, man. And it was just it was just crazy. Like it was just crazy. It was just crazy. Like, hey man, and, but you, you know, had, you, know you, you you were talking about you 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 knew you were gonna win that game. But Tom Brady had like five hundred yards passing on you guys. The defense couldn't stop him, man. So what made you think you were gonna win the game? There no New England was walking up and down the field just throwing at will. Yeah, D let's not take it to the extreme. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you had to bring that, that up, Derek. Yo, that, that didn't happen until, like, the third quarter, he started going crazy. He went crazy, yeah. And the third quarter, though, you know, that, that's that, true. That, but you got to understand, at that point, we had never been in the Super Bowl. I know. Guys started I know. getting likes. We was whooping their ass the whole entire game. We I know. Mean. I know. I know, but it got too close for comfort after that. All right, then, then I need your reaction when you see the strip and Derek Barnett come up with that ball, man. Like, what did what was that feeling? I thought we was gonna get a sideline fly. <laughs> going that crazy. If you watch that strip, the whole sideline ran on the field, damn man. That yeah. strip was crazy. I was like, oh, we definitely getting the flag. Oh my god. <laughs> like my helmet was off. Like, oh, you know, and that might have put you out of field goal range, right? I mean, because bro, that, bro, that right? was crazy. That, was I mean, I made, that put you guys up eight. That was crazy. That was crazy. That Yeah, that was crazy, man. It was just, like I said, it was an amazing time, man. Uh, it was, like, so special to be a part of. But like I told you, that's going to be talked about forever. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, what, what is it, five years, six years, whatever it is? It, it yeah, five won. years. Like, five yeah, years yeah. since yeah. today. Yeah. 2017 about, season, yeah. So think about this, like, another uh, five years from now, when they bring everybody back, it's just going to feel the same exact way. I know I'm going to make it feel the same exact way because I wasn't there when they hung the damn banner up. So I'm <laughs> going to take full advantage of it. But right. like I'm saying, like these, the, 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 this, this team of the Jalen era 
it's always going to be compared to that season, no yeah. matter what. Yeah, that's cool. and, and, like, listen, I would say this, even for the young guys in Philly, you got to be mentally strong to play there, bro. Like, this, if you if you scared of competition or you scared about somebody else pushing pushing the next guy, then this yeah. that place ain't going to be for you, bro, because Philadelphia is the place of the underdog. So if you the guy, there's a guy behind you that they want to be the guy until right. he become the guy, then it's a guy behind him that they want to be the guy. That's just how, they, how it rolls. You know what I mean? Like, the backup is always important in Philadelphia sports. I don't care if it's baseball, basketball, whatever. Like, that's just that's just what it is. Like, and, and you know, I understood that quick. Mm-hmm. I, I, I want to take you down on a trip down memory lane because I still remember it vividly. This guy named Vinny Curry, second-round draft pick of the Eagles, Comes out of college with this sack total that was incredible. Was defensive player of the year in his conference. He stands at the podium at the Novacare, and he's emotional about how much it means for him to play for the Philadelphia Eagles. And you fast forward to now, you're almost 34. Have you let yourself say, where did time go? I don't know. I've been enjoying the moment. Yeah? You know, yeah, my aunt always say, be where your feet at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep yeah. God first, be where you feet at. And I, I will say, you know, um, like I told you, like the biggest thing was like you coming out of college, to this, to this two-time All-American guy come to and he's this, he's that. And then I go yeah. to the league and it's like, oh, bro, you got to wait your turn. That was a hard pill to swallow. I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. Like, and then, you know, Twitter was going crazy. Like, oh, we're, we drafted Vinny. And mind you, it's 12 DNs in the room. You got uh, who was at the time? Philip Hunt, Dow Tap, Brandon, uh, Trent Cole, Brandon Graham, yeah. yep. Jason Babin. Yeah. And I'm missing somebody. Oh, it was crazy. I was like, yeah. bro. Well, let so me I'm ask gonna... you, Vin, what was it like playing for Chip? Oh, oh, it was all right. It was it was cool. Um, it was cool. I would say the biggest thing for me was. The biggest, thing, the biggest thing for me was it was like, here I am just being this four three DN, and then they just got the two guy. And I was like, oh, yeah. shoot, I don't think I got, I got enough weight on me, ah. you know. Then I did bulk up, and then I, 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 I really couldn't breathe. I was like, oh hell no! So I cut the weight down, and right. then I, uh, stat wise, shit. I mean, I had damn near some of my best years there. So, okay. with him, so yeah, you know, hey, but um, we don't have. We don't have – this is one thing I'm saying. Like, we don't have three head coaches. Yeah. Three, we don't have three head coaches. Now, some of the guys, is, you know, that was there since I've been there, that's their fourth head coach. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy, hey, right? Hey, how, do you, how do you like playing for Robert Sala? Now, everybody call, calls him this great defensive mind. How do you like playing for him? Oh, it's cool. It's yeah. cool. It, it, um, it's definitely cool, you know what I mean? For me, personally, it's like, you know, um, you step out of the zone because, like I said, a lot of – a lot of stuff that was embedded in me is a is a Philadelphia way. So you know, yeah. just to try to step out my comfort zone, and you know, just you know, get used to everything and how things is ran, man. It's, it's, it's been good. All right. well, your your listen, quarterback, man. your, yeah, your I quarterback. You. I got two more questions for you, and both pertaining exactly. to quarterbacks. Let's start. Let's start with your quarterback, Zach Wilson. Uh, there are a lot of people down on him, man. Is he is he legit? Can he turn it around? Oh, bro, he legit, bro. He legit. Because, you know, uh, when I talked to you last week, I said, I am not a Zach Wilson fan. I'm sorry. Tripping. Like, <laughs> listen. <laughs> but, you know, like, I, listen, this, this is, this is going to be his year. He's going he gonna to prove a lot of people wrong. All right, what about Jalen Hurts? I know you keep an eye on the Philadelphia Monster. scene. What do you think about Jalen Hurts? Monster. Monster. You think so? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot, yeah, of, a lot of people have reservations about Jalen Hurts in Philadelphia. What I tell you about Philly, bro? They, they, they oh, yeah. always want the, the next guy to go to. They go, you know, for what's his name? Mark like, Mitchell. Like, Mitchell, yeah, yeah. Mitchell, yeah. yeah, like yeah. You got I me. Mean, Mitchell is a good player, but you know, Jalen, Jalen, Jalen is Jalen team. Mm. Got to roll with him. You know what I mean? And and it, hopefully, you know, by the time the season start, you know, for them to for them to be compared, you know, to the to the to the seventeen season. You gotta have you gotta have quarterback controversy. It's the yeah. only way. It's the, it's the only way fully know how to do business. You there's it. There it is. There's a little Rick Flair. I yeah, like it, man. 
All right, Vinny, Vinny's getting ready, man. He's getting ready for hard, hard, You know what I mean? You got the, you got the, uh, uh, when I was coming up, it was McNabb, Kevin Carr. Right. Then McNabb and Vic. You still have the Rick Flair, you still have the Rick Flair boy in your locker? Woo! No, 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 no. You tired it. You tired it. You know, tired you know, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think he's actually still in Philly. Um, I think they just took my locker down over there. <laughs> you know, hey, you never know. You never know yeah, in this yeah, league, man. Yeah, you never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's the crazy part about it. Babe, babe, great catching up with you, man, and and, and wish you all the Thank best you, this year, man. And glad to see you're you back to being yourself, healthy, and all that good stuff, man. That's the biggest thing. Come on, man. Listen, you guys are a part of, part of my history, man. And you know when it, when I hang the cleats up, you know obviously we'll be in Philadelphia, man. So yeah. you know how much love I got for the. From Philly, the fans, the organization, and everything. I, I don't have one negative, one bad thing to even say about my whole journey and my whole experience. And be gun, like mm. I said, you've been there. Be gun, you've been there from the beginning, now. Yeah, man. Be gun, yeah, be gun. You was you was there when I couldn't even grow hair on my face, man. That's true. <laughs> that is true. That's you were this young a pup. That's changed a little, yeah. Yeah, he was uh, a young yeah. pup. Didn't and then was trying to find his way in yep. professional football, man. Yeah, yeah, he failed yeah. it. He failed but it. We, but we we want to get you on again, definitely during the season, though, man. Yeah, Van, appreciate oh, it, man. Yo, let me know, man. Uh, listen, man, much love to y'all. Listen, both of y'all, happy Father's Day. Enjoy your time. You, Thanks for having me. Thanks, yeah, man. Same to you, man. Be good. Take care. Stay healthy, bro. Hey, yeah. I'll tell you, he's a, he is. A, we'll get into him later, Derek. He, what a oh, character. Goodness. He is the best, man. Wish that dude nothing but success. I'm glad oh, he's healthy. Goodness. He looks great, man. He's like, you know, glowing, man. He's he's feeling well. That's all that really matters. But that was that was fun, man. He's a, he's a trip. He's a trip. All right, we'll, we'll dive back into Vinny a little bit. Let's get a quick time out here, Derek. We come back. Paul Hudger's going to join us. We'll talk a little Sixers with Paul as we have the draft coming up Thursday. But that was fun, man. If you missed oh, any of goodness. that, just go to jacobsports.com or go to our Jacob Sports YouTube network. You go back and watch and the podcast of all the interviews that we did. You want to watch all of that. It was absolutely spectacular. Good good work, Gunner, uh, getting him, man. That's for sure. All right, quick time out. We'll come back, and we'll be joined by Paul Hodrick, Rob Ellis, Derek Gunn, uh, Sports Take, Jacob Sports YouTube Network. <laughs> 